Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And one of the things that I would like to have implemented is um, a better standard in anything that is, of course, um, you know, IoT devices, Internet of Thing devices that we call. I use a few, um, you know, uh, Wi-Fi bulbs that are, of course, internet connected. I find that it's kind of cool that I can turn them on, change the color, and do things with my phone on the app and, you know, um, turn them on from anywhere. There's advantages to that, but also it taps into something that a lot of people don't think about, and it's the security of all of this. Remember that these are connected, connected to the internet, connected to your home network, and that uh, the security home network is, of course, the weakest link of it. Meaning, if one of those devices doesn't get any updates anymore and it has serious security flaws, well, that's the security of your network. Whatever you're using on your PC, whatever you're using on at home that is highly secure becomes unsecure because of a simple little device that has a flaw. Now, um, the reason I'm showing those bulbs, the TAPO bulbs, uh, which are TP-Link bulbs, is that a uh, recent research uh, discovered security flaw, which actually makes the attackers find your Wi-Fi password. Um, that's more limited. You know, knowing your Wi-Fi password means that you know how to connect at a short distance to your Wi-Fi network. That's kind of a limited attack. It's still serious, but I mean, it's not like having some kind of open device that could, you know, impact your home network and, and have somebody tap into everything on your computers, on any device you have at home. And that is the danger of the future. Unfortunately, no standard as to how many years and how long a, you know, device needs to be supported for, um, you know, security updates. And that is a main problem. I've had, like I said, I have a few of those here at home, but I've limited the purchase of anything um, intelligent, like, you know, bulbs and, and any other device for that main reason. The more you have of those at home, um, the more of a security hazard it can become in the future, unfortunately. These are great. But they have a downside. And unlike your PC that, you know, you keep updated all the time and all of that, these are pretty much devices that work in the background. You don't really know when they're updated. If they are updated, um, you might see that your phone, for example, on my bulbs, I see the app telling me that there are updates. But some of them do it pretty much on their own. And, in, you know, how do you know if you have more security updates to come or not at all? Because... Devices are unsupported. Like everything, there's a lifespan that the company, after a certain time, will say, well, these are too old. We're moving on to our new generation of devices. But at that time, the old security devices, you know, the security updates are not there. And there could be flaws. So what do you think? Um, the question for today to you guys is, do you have Internet of Thing devices at home? Smart bulbs. Uh, it could be a, you know... Um, a uh, floor, these little floor cleaners uh, thing. It could be anything that is outside just a PC, but that connects to the internet to work. Uh, if you do, and are you scared of the security implications of having too many of these in the future? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.